Let's listen to our name before we continue with the today's lesson. So that I can get to know those who are sent and those who are present. How are we done? Yes, sir. Are you Yes, sir. Are you Peter? Yes, sir. Are you Yes, sir. Alright. Once the register is marked, let's quickly continue with today's lesson. Last time we were meeting about how the digestive system of ruminants works. We dealt with it several. Now it is today that we want to continue with the practical aspect of how the digestive system of ruminants works. I you mean how we will be able to identify them physically once we see them. That is why the department, our research department, is been able to get one of the books for it to be sorted as an experimental base. Now we are going to quickly flow to know how it is sorted and how best it can also be flamed. And you know what the flaming aspect is? When we apply fire on it, and the exact term given it to it, what is the exact term given to that? Yes. All right, so it is changing. Now, the spelling is S-I-N-G-E-I-N-G. Let's all go out to see how best we can be slotted, then how we can get the digestive system of the ruminant for it to continue. Let's all go out to see how it can be done. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Right. We don't say an animal is, is being killed, but rather we use the slaughtering as a scientific term to classify this. So now it is slaughtered. And don't forget that this blood that has fallen there can be used as blood meal. We can use it to reprocess it, then we get a meal out of it in order to feed the animals, especially the other animals. So this is the blood. In actual fact, we could have gathered the blood and process it to be used for the blood meal. Now, once it is rotted, we are going to apply flame on it to remove the wound, so that afterwards dissection can be done. Then we get the digestive system of this ruminant for it to be used. What is the name given to this ruminant? All right, good. So we are straightforward kicking it to the fire for it to be flame. All right, some of you should help me. As I was saying, now we are removing the wood. And once we are removing the wood, there is a term that can be given to that. And that term is said as single. S I N G E I N G. S I N G E I N G. Single. So the that term is is what I've just said. I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. The only thing I can say, I want to open that so the channel. I can't hold that so we 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 we. I know that scientific can be friendly. Sing it. S I N G E I N G. S I N G E I N G. Is the process not easy? Sing it. We can hear you. The friend of Poof. Poof. H O O F. In plural, H O O B. That's it. That's why they are changing so much. 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 That's why they to, to see when they see there is one there is one one action in the uh, uh, Chinese that says that as the student sees it, touch it, feel it, it's being captured into the memory straightforward. But once I want him now on cyber side between the energy, I bet I will kill them as they say, it's your reason for it. Okay, 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 From outside, as we are continuing or steady, the theory aspects of the digestive system of ruminants can easily be seen from here. We know a situation whereby we only deal with the theory aspects, leaving the practical. We want you to get the feel how it can be seen straightforward and fast. So we are going straight. To deal with this, we have finished with the slaughtering. The changing is done. Washing. Now it's time for us to dissect to get out the digestive uh, system of the ruminants. Now, before we continue, let's refresh our mind. At first, when we were treating the digestive system of the ruminants, we mentioned some parts of the digestive system of the ruminants. Now we'll be very happy to get to know you mentioning some of the digestive system of the ruminants. What are some of the digestive system of the ruminants, the various parts that we have on the ruminants? Yes, mommy. See bladder. Is that in top of it? What other parts also? Yes, Gina. No. You try, but not the best. No. What is it? Come again. All right, reticle. Clap for it. All right, the second one. All right. All right, the above one. Clap for it. And the last one, Francis. What? All right. Clap for him. Two. Then this is telling us that you have not thrown away the theory aspect that we studied last time. So due to that, we are going straight forward to dissect. You've done very well. Being able to tell us the various parts of the digestive system of the ruminants. Now it's time for us to get to know the practical aspect. So, just tell us, what kind of animal is this? Yes, Mikey. Right. You just said, what did you say? This bit. All right. So, which category can we classify goods? Yes. You are not. Ruminant. All right. Now, let's go to it. By the help of these two, he is helping us to do the work. Now let's go straight to do the dissection and take away the digestive system. Just observe how we are doing the dissection. Yeah. 
They were once like you. They were in the same class, a great science department, and now they are here to help the school for the practical lessons. So they are doing the digestion for us to get out the digestive system of the ruminants. And once they are seen, and they are being also touched, what it means comes in the examination. Wherever you see such questions, I believe and hope that you'll be able to see or identify the various parts as omasum, abomasum, reticulum, then the rumen, the rumen. So let's see how it is done when we continue. Mirrors row by row, come and observe how we are doing the dissection. This row come. So we've taken the dissection from the sideways and we are removing. So what position has the animal laid from the anatomy and physiology? No, not for that. No. What? No. What the kid was there. So it is very In this place, when they lie down like this, this is awesome. All right, the next row, just come. <laughs> next row. <laughs> next row, come. <laughs> From the anatomy, we also study that this portion, when the animal is like this, lie down at this, it is called as well. Dorsa. Good. What about this side? Exactly. Exactly. So now we are dissecting it to take out the digestive system. Then it's been going to be identified for you to see how to do it. All right. The next rule. And these are the hoof that we are talking about. The hoof. The nine of Hawaii Indians. These are the hoof. Mook, no. A continuum mook, no. We call it what? Good. Now, we are still doing the dissection. The Hawaii Indians, what did you see in the Tahoe Anatomy. That the excellent tool you say, a venture. Then you say the other day. No, the chief venture. Let me say what does that good? So now the ventral position is what you've seen from this animal. Then just go and we continue to move. Then the rest of you come. Just come around. All of you come around. Come around. <laughs> There are some organs that will be on the body. And no, no, no. 
So it has been secure. If someone hits your chest, you wouldn't feel much pain to your neck because of the thorax. So now we have the thorax here, and we have other organs being found over there. Just remove them. I hope you are following. Bye. Bye. You see, I don't know. But our focus is on the digestive system. Now, this is a book. Almost you are sketching, but I'm not hoping you are. Any more than you want a book, be a brat. No, I tell you, you have it here. I just sit there alone. What we have been seeing in book is what we see. Because the book, you know, I have no more day. When you know that one, you say student should be able to identify the various parts. Near to her eye, maybe her eye, eye, her in that order. Near to to be at the other. Indeed, we are going to unfold this. We have a pie. Near to the woman, you say, set digestive system of the ruminants. We said some aspect looks like folds of book. Folds of book, which I say, for book we brought. So, when when you folds, leave let no room and you folds. Then that is one part of it, and there is another part as well that looks like a honeycomb. In beekeeping, say bees no. Eba, you know, hive, you know, number by year. Or maybe you take a nice comb. I have a bit to say, circular, I have a warm muscle. That is another aspect. But there's one portion of this digestive system that looks like that. And there is one that is having the largest of all. It's so large compared to the rest of, of, of their chambers. And that one is lumen. Now let's unfold it and see what is it. Yes, sir. You've seen it before. Yes, sir. So you know it. Yes, sir. Do you know the virus part? No, sir. That is why we are doing it. You get to know. You get to know. A great class is very interesting and to be a scientist. So let's dissect it. One of you should get us a, a rubber so that we can get the droppings into that for the part to be seen clearly. My name is asking us a question. What is he doing now? What is he doing now? Yes. I said what? Get us one bucket for us to do the washing. Who is bringing the water? 
So, viscera that we seen in books. We have large intestines, we have small intestines. Now, the large ones can easily be seen. These are the large ones, the small intestines. We have the liver here. What is the name given to it? The bile, right? Have you ever tasted the bile before? No, sir. Why? Sir, I didn't taste it. You said it's bitter. Yes. So you have not tasted it before? Yes, sir. So, what is this one? Who? Is that what? Turn your way. All right, see, the liver, 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 the liver, the liver, the So the water is in. Let's quickly bring it, bring it. Say what the Someone is asking us about Sadia Bro. Sadia Bro, baby. So that's the fatty content. No, no, no. These are the ears. Yes. And the tag is what we use to identify the animal. Yeah. And this yeah, is the horn. <laughs> like the hearing, we've been tagged as an identification. So we mostly, why do you think we tag some of the animals? All right, for your identification. All right. Exactly. Right. There is another question. What? How do we best differentiate between sheep and goat? The word they need. Sheep is having bigger size than the goat. I'll be very happy that when we get to the topic of sheep and goat you know we treat sheep separately as a topic so as the goat and the various parts or the various variety see we have types of goat types of sheep when they will get there and they are being known i think the differentiation will come from there one also is having horn bigger horn others also not that good now let's go straight to this Let's go straight to this. We said that there is one part, one of the parts of the digestive system of the ruminant. That is like foes of bubbles. And what is the name given to that? Foes of book. Which part of it is like foes of book? What? All right. Now let's see here. How we can see. Just point it to me, which of the parts over there looks like force of the book. One of you should point it to us. Where are you pointing? Can you see? Where? Right. This part looks like folds of a book. Now let's see how we can open them. We open it, we are open it, it can also be open, right? So this is the part that is called the omas. So you see it is like four, four of book. We can open it, we open it in that order. Have you seen it? Yes. Right. What other part also looks like the honeycomb? Looks like a honeycomb. Where? Yes. Good. Now let's see how it is. In beekeeping, this is similar to the honey comb that we are talking about. You see how it is? Like a football. Yes. This part was what is other part also 
that we can liken to it having its feature as a honeycomb which part of the digestive system of the ruminant similar to the honeycomb similar to the honeycomb mercy mercy we can hear you can you hear no sir mercy we can still hear can you hear no sir all right Did you hear? Yes. Did you hear? Yes. 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 Guilty. Reticular. Now, this is the part that yes. we are seeing that it looks like an animal. All we can see it. Yes. So, if this this place is the omasu, reticulum, and the largest chamber of it all, this is the largest. Look at Berkaraka. This is the largest. What did they give it to the largest part of it? Said the Good. You said what? So the largest of it all is the rumen. Now, so now we have four, four parts of it, right? Yes. This, the fourth one of the book is called the fourth one. All right, Anikum. Then the largest chamber. What is left? So good. This one is our This is our So whenever this is where it is linking to the truth of it. So we have this place to be the abomasum. This place to be what? Then followed by the, the largest one. Good. So you could see that how we have arranged it, and that is how it is. Sand it here. Who can the size? This one is the largest of all. Again, what is the name given to this part? Right, followed by. And what is the nature of the Omas? I don't accept to rest as if you know you raise up your hand. The nature of the Omas, yes. Good. Now, as I was saying, so this one we can open it. You open it here. Another one will come, another one will come. Pools of food. Then from there, which of the other part also looks like an honeycomb? Right. So the abomasum, omasum, reticulum, then how this one really forget? The largest of all is what? Last one. Okay, what about this place? So we just get to know this. The uh, yes. Oh, the super boss is the truth area. It's in the truth area. We are talking about the game. Super boss, yes. You know, I was even telling last time that we have the super boss and the tracking. What is the fancy of the super boss? Yes. All right. What about the trachea? Trachea, yes. All right, so for exclusion, another term for exclusion. Then you see, they are close to each other. Check how it is. So you see, so if you are eating, and once they are close to each other, who will make a they are not so far back. It is a Baby, I say behind the farm. I'm for home. Never for home, me, Juma. Then that is where we be need of water. So it is close to each other, as you can see. Back to this. Last one. I'll be very happy that when your name is called, you come and just point to the various parts that we have mentioned. Then all of us give you an applause. Kwesi kosi. Page of just come and point it to us where the reticulum is. Mm -hmm. 
Because it was a reticulum. No, don't no. look at this side. This is our digestive system. Where? Is it red? No. Oh, but see, could have done better life than this. Yes, Bruce. Just stand here and look at where it's going to point. Stand here. Come closer. Do we all agree at this place? Yes. Yeah. What is the feature of it? Better. Just clap for you. Right. Abigail. Just come and point it where, where we have the full muscle. We are doing an evaluation. Oh, Masu. Point it well. We are all interested. We want to know where you are pointing. We want to know where you are pointing. So you see this? Your, your, your colleague. He finds it difficult to point it. Maybe because of the religious belief or whatever. But this one can be attributed to that. Now, I think she pointed this area. What is the nature of this? So that is that. So in books, you see me putting there in books, they are there. But you can read them, but if you've not seen it before, you find it because you capture them. So now they have been seen, then it can easily be recognized during the examination of as an official bit. Last one. Gloria. Come and point it to us where we have the abomus. Abomus. Do we all agree at this place? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Now, so it is clear. Yes. Clearly, you can see. So I hope that. Okay, the last one is what? Well. The last one is what? Well. Now you see how interesting you it is. Yes. yes. So it is good to do practical lessons. Yes. Okay. It's good to do practical lessons. Yes. So you, I believe and hope that you will never forget about this lesson. Yes. yes. What is today's date? Nine April. Nine April. Today is Tuesday. Yes. Right. Good. So now, question. Yes. Okay. In the theory aspect, we said that there are other organisms living here. Protozoa is one. We have the bacteria. We have one, the fungi. They all live at this place and they help in the digestion of the food they swallow over here. See, when they eat, it's first of all come here. From here, then that is where the ray chewing, ray, 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 ray swallowing, ray whatever, the process comes here, then it moves through the other side. So all of this place, it is the largest of all. We have various organisms found <coughs> over there that helps the digestion to take place. So it depends on the other organism that will be found at wherever it can be seen, then why it can also be over there for the fans. <laughs> All right, in view today, we want to end for the practical lesson today. Let's clap for ourselves.